Hey everyone, welcome back! Today I thought I could finally do that video that I mentioned in my last H&M haul. At the end of that video, I talked about how I love the format that Lydia Tomlinson does here on YouTube. She calls them roundups, so basically going into a retailer's e-commerce, she sort of talks about the pieces that she thinks are worth the money, things that might be in tune with her style and with her audience's taste, but she doesn't actually buy them. The things. On one side, I think it's very smart financially because you can get into a rabbit hole of buying a bunch of things that you don't need when you're creating content, but it's also so much more smart in terms of space, in terms of keeping the pieces that you have, things that you actually wear, and I wanted to do the same thing. So here I am copying her unashamedly. And I asked you guys on that video which brand you wanted to see. I mentioned that I loved Banana Republic even though I cannot shop it in Europe and you were all very excited about that idea so that's what we're going to do today and you are not crazy today is not Sunday I am posting in the middle of the week because Black Friday is upon us and it's a great opportunity to get pieces that might be very useful for your wardrobe but at a lower price point. Who doesn't love that? And the reason why I love Banana Republic so much is because they are very focused on timeless design. You will find that they have a bit of a more elevated kind of sophisticated style to their looks and to their pieces but the prices are also very good. So let's start. I would like to begin by our favorite category of product during the fall winter season, which are sweaters. And I can already spot a winner. This is the Lenda Merino sweater. Oh, this is so pretty. It has everything that I love in a sweater. The mock neck, you guys know, is my favorite, favorite neckline in a sweater because it allows you to throw on a scarf, throw on a necklace, do a little bit of layering. How many times do I have to say the same thing? It's great because it covers your neck, but it doesn't bunch up around it. So it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more pared back. Also amazing, the feature of the billowy kind of puffy sleeves. I love this effect in a sweater because unlike a unstructured fabric, it just looks a bit heavier, a little bit more high quality, and it adds some element of ethereal energy to something that could be a bit bulky, but in this case it looks light as air. Gorgeous, the ribbing on the knit, and I just love it. The length of it is also great because it's that happy medium between not too long, not too short, great for tucking in, but also great for letting it over your bottoms if you want to. They have it in black as well, but this Malbec red is my favorite. It's neutral enough that it would look great with beiges, with browns, with army greens, with nudes, with blacks, but it's colorful. It's a wintry red, which I love. And Banana Republic is also genius when it comes to doing knits of base tops. You guys know I'm a big fan of knit tops. I think that they have more structure, they look more high quality, they don't reveal as much, they will keep you warmer in the winter time, but still they have a more slender, more fitted to the body silhouette that makes them into tops and not outerwear. And again, Banana Republic has a bunch of them. For instance, this Neza Merino ribbed sweater. It's basically a t-shirt in its cut, but a few details make it so much more sophisticated. The ribbing, again, makes it look like a knit and not a cotton fabric. It has a bit of a more, more closed down crew neck, which allows you to add a necklace. It gives it a more, not serious, but more dressed up feel. The sleeves aren't too short, so it covers most of your arms. So other than also, in my opinion, being a little bit more elevated, it keeps your arms a little bit warmer. And they have it in white, they have it in red, they have it in camel, which is always my favorite. It's a great pairing with more casual looks. For instance, if you're wearing jeans and you want to make it a little bit dressier, you add a knit top and it looks way better. But it also makes sense with more formal 
styling as well. Same thing with this Franca cashmere padded shoulder top. It just looks so put together. Love that they have so many colors in this as well. And they also have knit polos. I have been talking about knit polos all the time. Why am I so boring? I don't know, but this one is a winner. If you haven't got your hands on a knit polo yet, I think this is a great contender. It looks very well made, very soft. The material seems to be extremely soft in a cashmere, but it's not slinky, it's not see-through. The color options, again, are great. This midnight blue, this magenta kind of berry, beautiful. Also love that the ribbing around the waist is thicker, so you get a higher structure around your belly. Even though you have a bit more volume on the top, everything cinches down in the bottom, which is great. The lady's even hugging an alpaca, which can only mean positive things about this wall. I also, since I'm here, would like to take a look at their coats and jackets because I do have a bit of an obsession whenever I'm in outerwear shopping mode to look at Banana Republic because they do such beautiful pieces. Right off the bat, great example. This double-breasted captain's blazer has been on my list forever and they have it now in this sort of grayish blue herringbone. Wow! This is beautiful. You guys know how I feel about a double-breasted blazer with the gold buttons. It's just my thing when it comes to fall fashion. But this is another level. The fabric looks great. What is this? Fabric from Italy's Lenificio Fratelli Balli. So they mean business. The inside of the lapel is in another fabric. The buttons are gold, but it's a pretty gold, like a tarnished, sort of more muted gold, which I like, especially when it comes to the silvery, kind of grayish tone of the jacket. Lapel is beautiful. The fit is a little bit straighter, so we're not talking about that cinched-in Balmain silhouette. This is a bit more heritage, great with a shirt, beautiful if you love that sort of British aesthetic that is very timeless and elegant. This one, oh! Remember when I did that seven fall pieces that I don't have in my wardrobe and that I need video and I talked about how much I want a sartorial bomber jacket but it's really hard to find the right one and this Ava tweed bomber jacket is perfection. Again with the herringbone but here it is done in this espresso brown, beautiful with the contrasting kind of cream, really lets you see that herringbone. Has this ribbed knit detailing that is so gorgeous. I love that it adds a bit of a color, like a more statement color. And from what I see in the last picture, it can also be done up. So you can button it up and get really, really cozy and warm around your neck. Get a totally different silhouette. But when you wear it open, it's a bit more sporty, a little bit more like an aviator jacket. You can see the inside pocket has a little golden button. Love it the way she styled it here with a roll neck, a white roll neck and some jeans, but you could totally pair this with a shirt, with palazzo pants, get a sort of Catherine Hepburn aesthetic going on. Maybe if I can send you money, you can send me this. Is that legal? Oh, this is a great one. So last week I talked about layering, about tips and tricks that I use to layer here for fall winter. And many of you or some of you have pointed out that the tips that I gave maybe weren't exactly geared towards your climate, which made me feel a little guilty. But looking at a piece like this, you see, there's always a solution. If I lived in Siberia and I needed a down jacket or a very heavy duty coat, this is probably what I would go for. How beautiful is this? I mean, it can look puffy if you leave it open, but once it's done up, I think it looks actually quite chic. The shawl collar really helps here because it sort of gives you that reverse effect that a lot of beautiful outerwear has. You don't see a lot of zippers or buttons, which are technical details that can make something very casual and very kind of outdoorsy. The satiny surface of the fabric makes it look a little bit more luxe, a little bit more high-end. We do have solutions here on this channel. 
One thing that I always like to look at, and this is a bit counterintuitive because I think when we are talking about fall winter, we immediately want to see jackets and coats and knitwear, but I want to see some skirts because it's so easy to just throw on a pair of trousers every day and you have your puffy jacket and you have your pants and it's always the same thing. Everybody looks the same, a man, a woman, a lamppost. So by adding a skirt at least once or twice a week, you're just, you know, having fun with it, making things a bit more exciting. You guys know how I feel about pencil skirts. I think that they are a total neutral, a total basic that you need. And Banana Republic is kind of an expert at pencil skirts. They have so many. I know that the Sienna wool pencil skirt is very iconic from the brand. They have it in camel, they have it in navy blue. The camel is great because it doesn't look too sartorial. I think pencil skirts can feel like workwear depending on the style, the fabric and the color you get it in. And the length is also really important. In this case, the model is probably very tall. So the skirt hits at mid knee. I would like something a bit shorter, actually. My pencil skirts, I have gotten them altered to hit just above the knee because I think that gives me more flexibility with the styling and it makes it a little less formal. But the good thing about Banana Republic is that they do have different sizes and fits depending if you're regular, tall or petite. So that really helps. There's nothing I hate more than seeing something on a model online and then when it gets to my home, it looks nothing like it. So in this case, I think it's very useful for consumers. This is in a wall, so great material. Again, the construction is great kind of mid-high waist, which makes tucking things in a little bit easier. But I'm in more of a Zamora plaid mini skirt mode lately. You guys know I have been looking for a leather version of this, like a black leather. But this is exactly the silhouette that I talk about when I mention an A-line mini skirt. I love the way that it's styled here with a little blazer. This would be a great outfit. If maybe you work for a not so serious, serious job, maybe a consultancy or an agency and you're a little younger, maybe in your 20s or your 30s and you just want to look put together, look serious, but not look like you're older than you are or much older than you are. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful look. And since we're on the topic of skirts, let's take a look at some dresses and jumpsuits. Because, you know, the festive season is upon us and I do think that buying occasion wear at a discount is always a great idea. And Banana Republic, again, has that beautiful medium of price range that we all love. For instance, a very, very simple, this April silk mini dress, almost verging on the barring when you look at the piece, but once it's on the model, it has this charm, this sort of understated charm that I love so much. It is long sleeved, but the sleeve has slits, so a lot more movement, a bit of a showing of wrist, which can be, I think, quite sexy and attractive. The fact that everything is very covered on the Top is compensated by showing a little bit more leg on the bottom. So you get a very, again, sultry yet sophisticated silhouette. The reason why I love this type of dress is that you can style it in so many ways. For instance, you can wear it like this loose. You could belt it with a beautiful kind of embellished belt if you're going for a cocktail or for a little party. Throw on some beautiful statement earrings, maybe some fun shoes, given that the dress is black, you could pair this with some statement shoes, some fun designer heels. It's occasion wear, but it's something that is gonna work for you whenever you're getting ready and you're late for dinner and you have no idea what to put on. Put this on and you look like a million bucks. Also love that it's kind of loose so you can eat whatever you want. This rosy sweater dress is also so cute. I think this is the perfect sweater dress if you want that youthful, kind of more feminine, girly look for winter. Because of the A-line skirt, you get a bit more movement. You can pair this with knee-high boots and it looks so cute. I love this. It has the polo neckline, which shows a little bit of your cleavage without showing too much. But you could totally wear a scarf underneath this. You could totally layer this with some 
something under so that you don't freeze to death. But this type of dress also transitions really well into the beginning of spring when it's still kind of chilly, but you can pull off going out with your legs showing. So you throw on a pair of ballet slippers or sling bags would look really good. You throw on a little trench coat over it and you have yourself a look. So cute. This is also a great option for going out. Let's dissect this dress, shall we? The Roddy Midi dress. The fabric is a rayon, which will give it a lot of movement, that sort of jersey-like quality of something that falls really beautifully, following the curves of the body, but not restricting it in any way. It looks quite simple, but I have to say I'm a sucker for one-shoulder dresses. They give off those Greek goddess vibes that not many other pieces can do. The fact that the bodice is cut sort of almost in a V gives that draping a chance to fall where it needs to fall. So it almost goes in a diagonal, which kind of goes along with the lines of the dress so beautifully. Then you have a slit, like a leg slit in the front, which in this case I think is great because one, it doesn't make it too matronly, two, when you're walking, it gives some movement to the piece, it will show some leg, it is a special occasion, but it's also the fact that the slit and the uncovered shoulder are in opposite parts of the dress. This is one of my pet peeves. Whenever dresses are half naked and half covered, it just doesn't look right. It, it's imbalanced, it's, it's not harmonious. This makes sense. It's beautifully proportioned. It's a midi that is long enough that it could work for a wedding. It could work for a more formal setting, maybe a beautiful restaurant, but it could also actually pull this off maybe on vacation with some embellished flats. It also comes in black, which might be a safer choice, but I do think that in the purple, you can see the details a little bit better. But I would like to conclude this video looking at accessories because I cannot help myself. Let's see. <gasps> yes, bingo. How many times have you asked me for the link to my Croc Effect black belt? It's very old. I got it in Brazil maybe 15 years ago, so can't link it, but this comes very close and it looks better quality. So if I could do it again, I would get this one. Lovely boots. This is also a piece you guys ask me a lot about, my sort of suede knee-high boots. But I have to say, these are way more beautiful. The ones that I have are from Mango. They do the job, I wear them a lot, but there are a few features from it that I don't love and that this has. Number one, the color. This chocolate brown is everything. I much prefer a brown, like a deep chocolatey brown to a tan or to a beige. I think it travels better from day to night. I think it looks more luxurious, more sophisticated. How many times can I say sophisticated in this video? Easier to pair with other colors. It's not so stark. Maybe you're wearing something that is like a black or a navy and throwing on a tan doesn't look as good as with a chocolate brown. And second thing is the leg is way more structured. So you can see that it is a bit more funnel buckety leg. It stands on its own. Mine are very slouchy. So when I'm walking, they kind of droop down, creates a bit of draping slash bunching up around the legs, which I'm not a fan. I know that's a style of boot, but it's not my style. I like things to look a little bit more prim. So this is just perfection. This is it, everyone. These are the pieces that I wanted to show you. Hopefully they'll still be in stock for Black Friday and hopefully they will go on sale. Let me know if you like this format. Maybe I could do it again for the winter sales in December. If you have any stores that you would like me to sort of stock online, I would be happy to. This was way fun. Let me know down below what you think. What are some pieces that you would like to add to your wardrobe? Again, retailers that you would like me to touch upon on this type of video. If you've liked it, if you didn't, I love to hear you and we will see each other again next time. Bye-bye.